Laws aren't set in stone. They're constantly evolving and changing as we learn new information. All laws are designed to be updated and improved. This law needs to change. This is the first thought someone has when they know we need a change. Someone saw the need when they considered the benefits of Act 123. In this case, a group of OT practitioners wanted to simplify the process of providing OT services in other states. Wisconsin worked diligently to pass legislation to include this as part of the OT compact. We saw a need and made legislative change. The Wisconsin Occupational Therapy Association, WODA, is your first stop when you want to see a change in Wisconsin law. They actively work with legislators and advisory boards to protect the occupational therapy profession and to ensure its continued growth in the state. WODA board members are all volunteers. They're here to help all OT professionals understand, follow, and when necessary, change Wisconsin health care laws. WODA actively works with legislators and advisory boards through lobbyists who are crucial to the legislative process. Think of it this way, as OT professionals, we understand our work and how a change in the law could benefit us and the people we help. The lobbyists are professionals at understanding members in the Wisconsin Assembly and Senate and how the legislative system works. They know who to go to and how to get the process started. This means we can focus on our clients and the lobbyists can focus on making the connections necessary for legal change. The Wisconsin Capitol houses both the Senate and the Assembly. These are the elected officials that create, vote on, and pass legislation based on the needs of their constituents. The Wisconsin Occupational Therapy Association provides OT professionals guidance and direction. The lobbyist is what connects the two. WODA knows what laws need to change, the elected officials in the Senate and Assembly know how to make the change, and the lobbyist works between the two groups to ensure change happens. For example, say an OT practitioner feels strongly that a law needs to change. They've done the research and can see how a change would benefit all Wisconsin OT practitioners. They bring their suggestion to WODA, who also sees the benefit, so they contact a lobbyist. The lobbyist knows just who to talk to in the Wisconsin Assembly. The lobbyist works as the intermediary between the Assembly member and WODA to get more information, answer questions, and provide the details the Assembly member needs. Then, once the Assembly member has everything they need, they draft a bill, which is introduced, goes through committee meetings, and has public hearings before passing out of committee and going to the full Assembly for a vote. Once it passes the Assembly, the process repeats in the Senate. If it passes the Senate in the same form, then it goes to the governor for his or her signature. If the governor signs it, the change the OT practitioner envisioned becomes the new law. Turning change into a new law is a complicated process. It requires OT practitioners with an idea, WODA to provide support, and the lobbyists to work with Assembly and Senate members to really create change. We encourage all OT practitioners to contact WODA whenever they feel change is needed, as this ensures our profession is always looking to the future and providing the best care possible. WODA is found online at this link. Please contact us when you think a change is needed and visit us online to find great ways to get involved.